Hi, I'm Denzel Washington. <laughs> and I am Orson Welles. I am Jamie Foxx. And my name is Joseph Gordon Levitt. And we are doing today wired. wired auto auto complete interview. Yes. It's even harder to do this on Zoom. That's impossible. You know I'm saying I remember Zoom. Come on, <laughs> Zoom, 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 I Zoom. Okay, Joseph is Joseph Gordon Levitt a pilot? No, he is not. I just played a pilot in a movie called 7500, and I'm glad that Google is auto-completing this. That means a lot of people are watching the movie. Hey, I'm not a pilot. I, I mean, I, I studied to look like a pilot. I think I was fairly convincing in the movie, but uh, pilots go through a lot of training, much more training than what actors do, and, uh, and it's a good thing because flying a plane is not easy. Well, I know well, enough to know how hard it is. <laughs> if you were my pilot, I would feel very sick. <laughs> likewise, sir. Likewise. So this is the next question. Is Joseph Gordon Levitt nice? <laughs> I would say so. W if you're nice to me. Uh oh, I I'm nice if you're nice to me. <laughs> you don't just get niceness. Like you get like when you get hand sanitizer, you just stick your hand under. You got to actually pump. You have to pump for niceness. Exactly. If I was just gonna just freely distribute niceness without knowing that someone was gonna be nice in return, I would be all out of niceness. I would be an empty bottle of hand sanitizer. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna be empty. Mm. I need to stay full. Stay full, baby. Thank you. Is Joseph Gordon Levitt left handed? No. My dad was and my grandpa. Why why is this in That's the autocomplete? Interesting, though. This is, this is not a common autocomplete, I don't think. I mean, why would anybody ask this? I mean, is this like some kind of jerk off reference? Cause I was in Don John, is that what it is? Wow, you know what? <laughs> now that you think, now that I think of it, yes. I was gonna ask that when I met you, it just <laughs> slipped my mind. Hey bro, when, when you get a private moment. <laughs> What is Jamie Foxx's birthday? Listen, my birthday is for everybody to, to, to share in. I want everyone to share in the birthday. I am 12, 13, 67, born in the struggle. I am a Sagittarius, Gemini rising. I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> what does rising mean? I never really understood this. Uh, I think when you're smoking weed. Got it, okay. I think I don't all that other stuff they put on there is just trying to make you feel like you don't know your sign. Like some girl, I was like, I'm a Sagittarius. Yes, but you know your rising. I said, <laughs> do you want me to know my rising? Want me to know that? You want to tell me? I'm African American rising. <laughs> all right. Where does Jamie Foxx live? I live in the heart and the minds and souls of the people. <laughs> yes. I am the spirit of living oh. inside of you that every day that you wake up, you feel me that's where i live so every time you take that breath you think of jamie fox this is why google can never tell you the truth you could google that question all day long and it would never tell you that but you just heard the truth what you that's just heard true. is far truer than anything google would ever tell you that's what i'm saying i am in you i got the jamie in me i got the jamie in me i got the jamie in me I can't get to that note. <laughs> Where did Jamie Foxx grow up? I grew up 28 miles east of Dallas in a little town called Terrell, Texas, gateway to the east. Population 12,248, 12,247 now because I am here. Shout out to Terrell, man. Did Joseph Gordon Levitt go to college? I did, and then I dropped out. Mm. I, I dropped out of college because I got my first copy of Final Cut Pro which is the first time, this is back in uh, 2003. Nowadays, you can edit a video on your phone. You know, there's free video editing software anywhere you look. But back then in 2003, it was, it was a momentous occasion that I could edit video at home on my computer. I'd been making little videos with my parents' camcorder and stuff ever since I was a little kid. And I always dreamed of being able to edit the videos I would make. And then I got to be an actor and I would act on sets. And then I would see the things that I acted in and say like, oh, that's the take they chose. Oh, they took out my pause. Oh, they cut it there. I wanna be able to edit and I could never edit. And then finally, finally in, in 2003, I got my first copy of Final Cut Pro, stayed up all night teaching myself. 
stayed up all night the next night and the next night and was just at that point said to myself i could be writing these papers for college or i could be doing this and it was right around then i dropped out of college well all i can say is that we're happy that you dropped out of college man because you've been giving us gems ever since uh, well, even before you. that <laughs> did joseph gordon levitt break a world record is there something i don't know about i wonder what they're asking about who is asking this question Mm, I don't know. It's just so vague. <laughs> a world record for what? A world record for just being the baddest mother on the planet. Now, I'm just going to sample that. I'm going to take that audio and sample it and, and make it my ringtone, make it my, yeah. my voicemail. Just make, just play that as often as possible. Did Joseph Gordon-Levitt learn to wire walk? I did. I could walk on a wire back then. I mean, it's been a few years since I practiced, but definitely when I was shooting the walk, I could really walk on a wire. I did not walk on a wire that was 110 stories in the air. I walked on a wire that was about 12 feet in the air, which doesn't sound as impressive on paper, but I challenge you to get up 12 feet in the air and get out on a wire and not be scared. Your heart gets going. <laughs> and for those of you hearing the 12 feet, just make, to, to give you a reference, when you're driving underneath a bridge, it says 12 to 14 feet. Mm -hmm. He's up high. Okay. I did learn to do it. Philippe Petit, the guy who walked on the <laughs> wire between the World Trade Center for real, the guy who really did it, he taught me. He insisted to be the one to teach me. And we spent eight days straight together. And he was like, by the end of these eight days, you will, you will walk on the wire. And, uh, and I did. <laughs> How'd he say it? I need that again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you need, Jamie? I will give you anything, anything you want. <laughs> That's what I need, man. Who doesn't know this? Is Jamie Foxx an Oscar winner? Oscar winner, 2005. Ray Charles, a blessed uh, person to do a blessed movie about him. And pretty good company that year. My man, Leonardo DiCaprio, who's the homie, Don Cheadle. I mean, people that I looked up, look up to and, and, and admire. A fantastic time. And my daughter sat with me during the Oscars. She was 11 or 10 or 11 at the time. Got to the category. She says, Dad, even if you don't win, you're a great actor. And that was all I needed. <laughs> That's the sweetest. That's so good. Is Jamie Foxx Canadian? I am not Canadian, but I love Canadian bacon. I love Canada dry. Uh, I love Canadian mist. Is that something? I don't know. What's that? I don't know. I just, I thought, I thought I had a Canadian mist. Is Jamie Foxx vegan? Uh, actually, I'm Baptist and I've been Baptist uh, my whole life. Like, you know, to me, Jesus is the foundation, uh, nothing against other vegans. I don't know where they go as far as heaven and hell is concerned, but I know where I'm going as far as heaven is concerned. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st Chronicles, Ezra, Esther, Nehemiah, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Limitations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Zaphonite, Haggai, Malachi. That, it's about Jesus, okay? Nothing against vegans, but we going to heaven over here. Uh, what is Joseph Gordon-Levitt ethnicity? 100% Ashkenazi Jew. Oh, man. I thought you were going to say uh, African-American. Anyway, <clears throat> what is Joseph Gordon-Levitt up to? I was gone for a long time. I took a couple years off acting because I'm a dad now, and I spent some time with my kids. But I'm back. Three movies this year. Fantastic, man. And we love that. There was a point where I was sitting <clears throat> next to you in the scene, and I, was, I kept staring at you. And you said, man, it's just... I'm, I'm having a good time, man. And I, and I really appreciate it because you you are an important artistic soul, my my friend. Here we go. What languages does Joseph Gordon-Levitt speak? Pretty much English. Un peu de français. Is venu to ya nigger bruski. Entiendo más que puedo hablar con español. Y cual otra. That's about it. <laughs> Is Jamie Foxx left-handed? I'm actually amphibious in both hands. As you can see, I have um, pretty big hands. So I'm amphibious when it comes to that. And when I, when I got the rock in my hand and let all these basketball players know from LeBron to, to Paul George to Russell uh, Westbrook, let them all know when I'm, when I'm out there, when I go to the left, it is what it is. And you can't do nothing about it. Is Jamie Foxx singing in Ray? I did a little bit of singing in Ray at the very beginning. I got a woman. 
Straight <laughs> over town. That was do me. Oh, yeah. And then a fun fact, yeah, right after the movie came out, I was in the studio with this guy, this kid by the name of Kanye West. My friend, Breon Prescott, called me and says, get down to the studio. And I did. And he was working on this song called uh, Gold Digger. Now, imagine hearing the track in just, you know, in its rawest form. And then my boy says, it ain't right unless Fox gets on it. And then we went into the booth for about an hour and a half, two hours, maybe 24 hours, I don't remember. And at one point we went, she take my money when I'm in need. And the rest was music history. <laughs> Is Jamie Fox nice? They forgot to put W-I-T-I-T -I -T, and my nice with it. <laughs> and I'll be damned if I ain't, I'm nice with it. Wait, what, what exactly are you nice with? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, well, I haven't, I, mean, I didn't, I wasn't necessarily being specific. I'm nice with people. I'm a people person. I feel like I'm friendly. I feel like, uh, I, feel, I, I feel like I'm nice with the culture. Who are Joseph Gordon-Levitt parents? People always ask me, why do you have to have three names? Why do you have to hyphen three names? You have to like have the longer name. Is that why? The reason is because my mom's name is Jane Gordon. My dad's name is Dennis Levitt. And uh, why should I only take my dad's name? <laughs> Fair question. Now, I asked my parents later in life, what happens with my kids? Uh, are we supposed to hyphenate again? Like, are they supposed to have four names? Are they going to be Gordon Levitt hyphen? And they didn't have an answer. They said, that's for you to figure out. I said, thanks. That's great. Who does Joseph Gordon Levitt look like? People always ask me if I, I'm the kid in T2, uh, Edward Furlong. Oh. You know, I'm not him, but I wish I was. I definitely wish that I was the kid in T2. No. I order you not to go. <laughs> I order you not to go. <laughs> Can Jamie Foxx play the piano? I've been playing the piano since I was six years old. I played the piano for my church. Uh, when I was 13 and my grandmother said, I want you to learn how to play classical piano so you can go across the tracks. I said, Grandma, what do you mean across the tracks? On the white side of town? She says, no, silly. All over the world, music is, is respected. And so I then went on to get a classical piano scholarship at International University with where 81 different countries was, was represented. Just letting you know I'm well-rounded. I believe it. It's not just hip hop. <laughs> Can I take you home, Jamie Foxx? You know exactly how you can. Anytime you want to take me home, you take me home. And they're referencing to, uh, I believe, a song uh, that's on, uh, on an album, Can I Take You Home, Girl. Can Jamie Foxx ride a horse? I can ride a horse, and the horse that you see in Django is actually my horse. Her name is Cheetah. She now resides on my property. I have actually 40 acres and two <laughs> mules. Uh, Cheetah's on my, on my property, and Legend is on uh, my property and they are sexy, attractive beast. What are the mules named? Uh, well, the, the horses, Cheetah and Legend. Oh, so they're not mules, they're horses. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I had to upgrade, you know, I don't wanna be riding around on no mule, that's okay. not sexy. Okay. Hey, yeah, you wanna go riding on some mules? <laughs> um, sure, that's odd, but okay. Thanks, Wyatt, for watching us. I hope you learned a little something about us. My eyes are red, because I've been laughing. It's not mm -hmm. for any other reason. And thank you for watching. Hope you learned something about us.